In this video, we're checking out this super cool GVM soft light with a desk mount stand. The slim soft light panel design and convenient stand easily attaches to your desk, making this ideal for live streaming, gaming, creating YouTube content at your desk, and video conferencing. And in this video, we're gonna be checking out all of the details to see if this light is the perfect addition to your content creation battle station. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up, Sean Cannell here with Think Media, and I'm so excited for this video because this is one of my favorite lights from GVM. Now, shout out to GVM for sponsoring this video and sending us out these lights to review. Right now, I am recording this at Kyle Anderson's studio on the Think Media team, but I've been actually using these lights for a couple months now at my home office battle station. And these are super cool for live streaming, video conferencing, and creating a lot of content at your desk. But there's a lot of other uses as well. So let's jump into all the details. First, we got the desktop stand. It is super well built and extends up to almost 25 inches from above your desk. The clamp is very thoughtful. There's some padded felt so that it does not scratch your desk and has a nice grip to it. And then there's two different settings so that you can actually have between a two or a four inch distance for big desks or getting around an edge. So a lot of flexibility so that you can use this in basically any situation. Once the stand is mounted to your desk or whatever object you wanna connect this to, you can then easily place the light on top, tighten it down, and everything is very sturdy and well put together. The light is very easy to tilt and to swivel by simply loosening this a little to get the perfect lighting angle. Next is the AC power supply with plenty of cable length, depending on how far away your plug is from the light itself. And you then have the ability to hide the wire nice and clean if you want to uh, put a little electrical tape on there or some cable tie type of situations. And if you don't wanna use the AC power supply, the light also accepts NPF batteries that you could order separately. And if you wanna check some out, we'll link to everything in the description down below. But you could put two of those on there and take this light on the go. Controlling these lights is very simple. Once you've connected them to power and flipped them on, you can use the stepless knobs to control the color temperature as well as the brightness. But my favorite way to control the lighting is the app. Of course, when sitting at your desk, you could reach up and flip the switches on and off and try to dial them in. But this makes it very convenient to simply adjust the brightness right on the app as well as the color temperature. Okay, let's do a test and here are the details. This is being shot on a Canon M50 at 1080p resolution with a Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. Now in comparison to the main angle, that was a Sony A7S III, which is a camera that's like six to eight times more expensive. But right now you're seeing an awesome camera that you could use the EOS streaming software to plug right into your laptop or your computer to go live. And then of course, create YouTube content just like this. And I'm being lit by just the GVM light in a room, kind of daytime, but it's mostly dark around me, so a little bit of window ambient light. So the single light is right above me. Now using the app, we can drop it down to zero. There's just the monitor light on my face. And to get it into like an ideal lighting situation there, the light is only at 22%. Now this is a very fast lens, so no matter what kind of webcam or kit lens you may have on whatever camera, you should be able to get plenty of brightness because it can go all the way up to this bright. That's a little bit crazy with the current aperture. So I'm able to create quite a soft look to this just with this light. And at the 10 inch diameter, it's kind of impressive. You know, one of the cons is that ultimately its size is not huge like a soft box, but with the right gear, you can really dial in a cool effect. Now you also can control the color temperature. So if we take it all the way over to that warm color temperature. Of course, I could change the white balance on the camera and whatnot. This is auto white balance, so the camera is just responding to the color temperature. And so you're able to maybe find that ideal color temperature for your skin tone with this light and whatever combination you want to get in. So this is an example of what just one of these lights can do. And if you're curious about this setup, so many people at Think Media love the M50 because of its live streaming and affordability and content creation effectiveness. This setup right here with the camera and the mount and the lens, 
and the light is pretty nice for um, live streaming and anything else you may wanna do. All you gotta do to use the app is download it from the GVM store and then you use Wi-Fi to connect the app to the light. And this is also how you could control more than one of these key lights from GVM. If you wanted to just have one mounting it behind and kind of more straight on or slightly off center would be more than enough to have a great setup for video conferencing, live streaming, content creation. But if you wanted to have two, you simply make one the host light and the other the slave, easy to set up. And then from the app, you can control both at the same time. So what is the price and what options are there when it comes to this light? Well, there's actually a couple different choices. This one is the 10 inch light, comes with the stand, and it's the list price of $139. Now there's a new light coming out from GVM that is available now or is about to drop, which is 12 inches. That one actually comes with a desktop stand and a traditional kind of floor mount lighting tripod. So you have that versatility but that one is a different build quality and we'll have to get our hands on that one and tell you a little bit more about that in the future. That one comes in at 149 here in the US as far as the list price. And then finally, there is a 15 inch model that comes in at $199. And it's the same as this one, except for you have that greater diameter on the light itself of 15 inches instead of 10. I love the 10 inch model, but when it comes to lighting, Bigger is usually better if you want it to be softer. It doesn't make it as much of a beam, but it makes it like right now, we're under a very soft globe light, which makes it very soft. It's also a much bigger investment, but because of this setup right here, it's nice to know that if you're in a small space, small room, that you have versatility of price and features and make sure to check out current pricing because I've seen a lot of deals and coupons <laughs> and sales that GVM does from time to time. So we'll link everything up in the description below if you wanna pick up one of these lights. As far as my final thoughts go, these are some of the coolest lights to hit the market. They're priced competitive compared to some of the other options, yet they back up what GVM stands for as far as build quality, CRI, which is color rendering index, color accuracy, and they're just a great set of lights, especially if you wanna sit down and have a battle station where you can live stream, teleconference, um, create content at a desk on a consistent basis and really have them locked and desk mounted. And if you're still doing your research and looking for the best lighting solution for the content that you're creating, make sure to check out our video about the GVM RGB lights. One of my favorite ways to create a mood is to use color lighting that may even be used in conjunction with a light like this. So click or tap the screen to check out that light on GVM's RGB lights that we love for our thumbnails and our videos. And we'll see you in the next one.